We're also working developing news out of our nation's capital where a new battle is brewing between the president and members of Congress. President Trump officially declared a national emergency to get $8 billion for a steel southern border barrier. The declaration comes after Congress passed a spending bill to keep the government open, a bill that only included $1.3 billion for a barrier. And now Democrats and many others are vowing to take legal action. Tonight we're hearing reaction from members of Rhode Island's congressional delegation. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Wall has their thoughts live now from the mobile newsroom. Kate. Well, this isn't the first time that President Trump has declared a national emergency. In fact, according to the Brennan Center, it's his fourth. And presidents have been making these declarations since the act was created back in 1978. But in this case, opponents, including our congressional delegation, argue the issue of border security is not a national emergency. We're going to confront the national security crisis on our southern border. And we're going to do it one way or the other. We have to do it. President Trump announcing a national emergency to get the $8 billion he needs to build a wall along the U.S. border with Mexico, citing concerns over illegal drug peddling. They say it all comes through the port of entry. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's just a lie. It's all a lie. They say walls don't work. Walls work 100%. This after bipartisan approval in Congress cleared a spending bill designating over a billion dollars to security at the border. And this is going to set a very dangerous precedent going forward that a president simply can disregard the Congress. We spoke with U.S. Senator Jack Reed, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Armed Forces Committee, moments after President Trump announced his executive actions Friday morning. The White House outlining up to $3.6 billion would be diverted from military construction funds. It's outrageous to, to take money from troops and for national security to fund a campaign promise is uh, outrageous on its face. It also uh, raises serious questions about constitutional uh, values. Rhode Island U.S. Congressman Jim Langevin also released a statement saying in part, quote, emergency authorities may only be exercised for legitimate national security purposes, not abused for political reasons because the president cannot get his way in Congress. I have every confidence that the courts will overturn this irresponsible act. President Trump said he expects his executive actions today to be taken to court by his opponents and knew at six o'clock tonight hear from Senator Reid on what steps he believes could be taken and if he thinks they'll be successful. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Tonight, the ACLU is joining Democrats in Congress saying they plan to take legal action against President Trump's declaration of a national emergency to secure funding for a border wall. I could do the wall over a longer period of time. I didn't need to do this but I'd rather do it much faster. The president said this morning he was expecting legal challenges to his declaration. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh spoke to Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed about that, and she joins us live now from the mobile newsroom. Kate? I was with Senator Jack Reed in Providence as President Trump was making that declaration from the Rose Garden. And just after that, Senator Reed said he approved $1.3 billion toward border security, but not in the form of a wall and not with money from the military. President Trump declaring a national emergency to secure $8 billion toward building a wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. But our congressional delegation doesn't see it that way, saying border security is not a national emergency. If this is not a crisis. This is a situation where the Congress, on a bipartisan basis, invested in border security. Uh, but he is just fixated on having a wall for political purposes. President Trump expecting a legal battle. And then we'll end up in the Supreme Court and hopefully we'll get a fair shake and we'll win in the Supreme Court. Senator Reid said even if Congress had a special vote to stop this executive action, it might not be enough. It will go to the president. He could veto it. And at that point, I think it'd be difficult to override a veto because, again, the Republican leadership have signaled that they'll support him. The White House said three and a half billion dollars of the eight billion dollars proposed for this border wall would come from the Pentagon's military construction fund. And Senator Reid, who's the ranking Democrat on the Senate Armed Forces Committee, said that money should instead be used for military readiness. I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.